For this anti-static spray, all you're going to need is some distilled white vinegar, some of your favorite essential oil, I'm going to use lime, grapefruit is also really good for this. You're going to want a nice sprayer and this particular one, the Zip commercial sprayer is really good and I found out something really interesting about this as well. And you're just going to need a little stack of um, some old face cloths or towels or you can have some J cloths or any kind of shop cloth that you want that's cheap or just something that you're finished with and you've kind of retired from your bathroom so we'll use these as the dryer sheets that we'll apply the spray to to make an anti-static sheet for your dryer. Now I noticed that some people do pre-make the reusable dryer sheets and soak them in solutions that they make and it's just a lot more complicated. To me this is really simple and easy just keep some cloths or towels on hand and your bottle of spray that you'll have laid on top of your dryer and then just simply uh, spray your anti-static spray onto a cloth and pop it in with your laundry. Another thing I wanted to mention is a lot of people do use vinegar in their laundry which I used to do but I don't anymore because I use Dr. Bronner's Castile soap as a laundry detergent and vinegar doesn't mix well with Castile soap. It actually turns the soap waxy and reduces the foam on the soap. So in a previous video I showed what I use as a fabric softener and it actually helps foam the soap much better and I leave the vinegar out of the washer and I use this anti-static vinegar in the dryer. That way I can use all natural ingredients in my laundry and use a lot less soap. It'll get great amount of foam and I can still have the anti-static benefits of the vinegar in the dryer sheets. So it's pretty simple. I just bought a bottle of this uh, organic distilled white vinegar. I'm going to take the top off and then I'm going to add for this uh, 32 fluid ounce size I'm going to add about 20 drops of essential oil. Okay, so now that I have my 20 drops of essential oil in there, I'm just going to shake it up. And you're going to want to shake this up before each use anyway, because of course oil and water don't mix very well, but the essential oil is in there for scent only. The vinegar is what works as an anti-static agent. Now what's really cool about this sprayer, you can go ahead and pour your vinegar into the sprayer, that's perfectly fine, or this sprayer just happens to fit perfectly and screw on to this Spectrum Naturals bottle. So I can keep it in my glass bottle with this sprayer and go ahead and use it for my laundry. If you want to, you can go ahead and peel the label off since you have essential oils in here and relabel it as anti-static laundry spray. So once I've finished washing my clothes and I've used my fabric softener and my Dr. Bronner's Castile soap for the wash cycle. I just have a stack of old cloths and uh, towels here that I'm going to use as the dryer sheets. I'm just going to take one of these now and take my anti-static spray, shake up the bottle, give about 10 good sprays and then it's ready to go ahead and toss into your laundry and you'll have a lot less static in your laundry. Just another little tip for reducing static in your laundry is try not to mix too many synthetic and natural fibers together. Keeping natural fibers like all cotton and linen and hemp together in one load will reduce the static because synthetics rubbing against natural fibers actually cause a lot more static. So if you have your synthetic clothes like your workout clothes, things with spandex, polyester, rayon, you want to put those in separately if possible from your natural fibers. So not all of us have time to go separating all the clothes like that but uh, still even with a mixture of natural and synthetic fibers this anti-static spray will do the trick 